Hey everyone, great to see you all. I just thought I'd jump back online and say hi and have a quick chat because it's been a little while since I posted my first couple of videos. Today I'd like to have a chat with you about families and how they impact us. I guess it's a really kind of appropriate time to speak about this since it's been Christmas and that includes a lot of uh, time where we're with family and friends and celebrating Christmas, New Year, holidays, however you do it. But it's definitely a time, probably the time of the year we most get to see our families. Now, this can actually be fraught with a lot of problems, and we all know that. You know those tensions and underlying issues that can run within families and between family members that can last for ages, years, sometimes even decades. And it's those times that we come together especially a group of us and to celebrate and have a good time and many times it's not that at all but we don't want to admit that we're all really happy and everybody's really nice and really friendly but are we being our true selves are we being authentically who we are? Are we bringing our true selves to those around us? Are we offering an unfiltered version of ourselves to our family members? Because of how the family consciousness works, if I can say that, many times we're under the belief that because they're members of our family, it puts these people into a kind of special category, a category where they deserve more of our love. And also on the flip side, we are expected to put up with certain levels of disregard and even abuse, all in the name of family. Now, when I look at this from a really objective sort of outsider's perspective, this just doesn't feel good at all. Well, it's not even true. And it's something that many of us are caught in. It's like a game that we play, that we kind of turn it on for family. And at the same time, we're actually kind of hating it and wishing it would be over. And so my question is, how can we do this differently? Or what can we do to make not only these events to be something more truly special, but the relationships we have with these people to be more authentic and more honest? There's one thing we can do, and I guess one of the things, the only things we can do, and that is to be as authentic and as real as, as we can in front of these people. And that doesn't mean just, you know, being brutally honest and hurting people and saying things without care. It means, it means about not holding back our love and not holding back our care. It means coming out of comparison. It means coming out of jealousy. It means holding our family members as equal to everybody else that we know. And for most part, we don't do that as a society. You know, the term blood is thicker than water. Well, maybe that's just one big lie. So it's us, up to us, one at a time, each of us that become more aware of the lie that is family and start to realize that we are all one big family 
that everyone out there is my brothers and sisters, equally so. And to the best of my ability, I bring all of, I, all of who I am to everyone that I meet. It doesn't change. Work, play, family, to the best of my ability, I'm going to give you all of who I am. And in doing so, these not only do these events become more enjoyable, but all parts of my life and all areas of my life become fun and they actually become easy. And so, and the, and the issues that I've had in the past I have found are not really issues at all. So yeah, there is another way and those difficult moments and times do not need to be that way. So thank you for listening once again and if you are interested in more videos like this, please hit subscribe down below the notification bell and I will see you for my next instalment very shortly. Thank you and bye for now.